All right, just finished eating real good, me and Elena. Yeah. Y'all see the guy with me? They had McDonald's. <laughs> had to make sure she got a, you gotta pay something in the stomach first sometime. So what's going on, young lady? Oh man, it's been rough, and I've been waiting for you to come by. I got a lot of updates. Well, give me some updates. Um, hey, for home, but uh, for the new viewers, tell me your name and your age. Where you from? I'm Elena. I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina, and 26 years old. And I was born in Romania, and came to the states when I was young. That's what's going on. So what's going on with you and Junior? Oh well, more or less. Well, there's a situation that happened, and uh, I I'm, need to tell you guys. Kind of, I'm kind of, kind of act it out just so you guys know the whole story, cause you, you guys got to know. Okay, so you know how I was kind of like trying to get my life together, and things had fell off. And I thought I was doing all right, and I decided to, you know, try to do the right thing and like hold a sign and make money. Well, that didn't go go well. So I tried one more time and tried to prostitute. And I had one person come by, and I bullshit you not, excuse my language. I had enough money where I almost could pay for a weekly in a room. And the guy, I'm not gonna say his name. I've known him for a while, mind you, and so knock, knock at the door, and I open the door, and he's standing there. Normally, he's dressed pretty nice. This time, he's like in a black shirt and black like slacks, but like tennis shoes. It's kind of odd, kind of threw me off, but I didn't care. And he's, he's coming on in. It's like I think it's comfortable, whatever. And we both take a hit. Excuse my language. Took a hit of crack. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go freshen up. And he's he gets paranoid, but I didn't think he gets like looking around. Kind of, he gets quiet, but he was looking around. So I go to the bathroom, and I bullshit you not. As I step in the bathroom, I'm in there taking my shower, I'm taking my shower. I hear a little rattling, and, you know, boom, 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 boom. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? So I'm finishing up, washing up everything, making sure I look good. And I got my towel on. And no bullshit, I open the fucking door, and this guy has got ran through all my shit, all my clothes, everything I had. I had a purse, and I bullshit you not, my wrist is swole. He takes the purse that I had, rips it out of my hand, and he literally has a gun, because he can. He he's allowed to have a gun, and he just puts it in my head. Like man, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. Like this stuff doesn't happen. But you have to be careful doing stuff like this. Like this stuff really actually happens. And I bullshit you not, I'm scared to death. My wrist is fucking hurt and I'm fucking butt naked. And I'm like not sure what to do. And I've never, I've never been robbed before, man. But I was this close and like doing so well and like getting on my feet and getting back into a room. And I bullshit you not, this guy, I've known for years for him to do that was like to take everything from me. And Junior, he's mad because he's like, you should have been more understood you know, more protective over your stuff. But I didn't think anything like that would happen. But I tell you, man, when I tell you I was scared, I've never had nothing like that happen to me. I, I mean, I lost everything. I lost everything, man, like everything. I lost my ID, I lost everything, my phone, my lost money. Your phone? I lost everything, everything, man. Oh. So no, I have no contact with my kids right now. I'm, I'm without. I'm, Thankful you paid for a meal for me because I am literally at ground zero and Work. this is like to me I thought being in a tent was slower than low but not having nothing and sleeping in a tent now. You get worse than that, huh? Yeah. So I'm literally, literally I have nothing. <laughs> so. Um, Let me ask you something. Uh, when I first started doing videos with you and Junior around about um, three or four months ago. Did a video and you was like, um, and you know, Junior, Junior, was, I did a video with Junior first. That's yeah. how that's how I met you through yeah. Junior. And he talked with so much pride. He was like, yeah. I'm the first person ever had that. Yeah. Just me. I'm, uh, I'm, I had a sister version. It's just me. That's mine. That's mine. Yeah. So, uh, and that, and so in four months, let's do a little recap. Yeah. In four months, you went from only sleeping with your your husband. Yeah. Um, to selling yourself. Um, went from selling yourself, you went to picking up another addiction, the hair, uh, opiate addiction, the, the fentanyl, opiate, whatever you want to call it. You, you started doing that. Um, 
you had a phone where you talk to your kids. Now you ain't got no phone, talk to no kids. You had got in the field a little bit, had your motel room. Now you ain't got nothing. Um, it's only been 120 days at the most. 90 days, 120 days, three or four oh, months. That sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just saying, I just, I just want to like, paint a little picture and show you how, how fast it went down. You like can that. go down. It's only four months, three or four months. I, and then, three or four years, I don't know if you even still be here. How old you say you was? 26. 26? When your birthday? I thought you just said. March 6, 1997. No, no, I'm going to ask you when, when your birthday Mars what? 6. So what's that, Aries? Pisces. Pisces. Okay, you're Pisces. All right. Dang. I, I think when I had left Junior for that period of time, I wanted to be out on my own. And I felt like if I was out here, I was going to see him. And I didn't want to. So I want to be on the inside. And like there's other girls that, you know, do it and they're fine and they make money and they can keep a room and they're happy. So I figured that I would try. And, and, and then I stopped, you know, and went back to him and I thought things were great. And I lost everything, got back at the tent. And I figured if I do just one more time and it's enough money, then maybe I could go back and get in a hotel and then maybe be able to like clean myself up and just do better from there. And the last time, I they, they say they doing. say they say when you when you stop something, you go back to it, it can make ten times worse. Yeah, that's how that's what they say. feels, you know. I, mean, I think I'm kind of doing worse than where I started. I was doing good for a bit and I think I was too happy to like, like yes, things are great, I'm gonna, I'm doing good, I'm doing wonderful. And then you, there's always that fallback where you don't really expect it uh, and anything can happen. And so I'm kind of at a point where I'm confused, not really know what to do. I want better, but I can't say that because I'm not doing better. I'm not actually. Let's go over there because I think some people over there, um, yeah, let's do right here. Cause I don't, I don't think everybody wants to be in the camera, and I don't want them getting mad. At. So I, I think that um, I, I'm at a loss for words for, for not doing what I did, and I kind of feel like it's karma in a way, because mm -hmm. I shouldn't have. But man, to lose everything just that fast, and you know, one shot, one more time, and I would have had enough, and the guy was gonna pay enough, and it just went down in flames just like that. And what am I supposed to tell? With the police? Like, well, you know, like, well, I don't, I don't know, man. I just kind of feel like rehab's the only way. Like, if you really want help, you're gonna have to go to rehab. Like, no, no doubt. So, wait, so, how you plan on get, are, do you, are you ready for help? I, I want help. I don't, I want help, but I don't know if I'm fully ready to commit it because it's the drugs just kind of got me. Right. But I want it. I really do, Elena wants it. But that addict's like, uh, I don't think so, chick. So, I don't know. So I, is that how, is that how, is that how your, uh, your self-talk be in your head? Like one part of you want, yeah. want to say, um, I, want, I want help, then the other part like, nah, we ain't doing that right now. There's like a shell, like it's an Elena shell, and then there's a the shell that's like, no, no, go ahead, just one more time, it's fine. Like, don't worry about it. When, I, when I was growing up, my mom was trying to tell me that, that was the God and the devil. devil. That's it's exactly how. <laughs> that, that's how. That's how. That's how I feel. But actually, actually, it be your, it be your thoughts. Really? Yeah, it's your thoughts. I mean, the the, de God, the devil and God work in mysterious ways, but at the same time, God gave you the will to make your own decisions. Yeah. So those thoughts in your head, is 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 your thoughts. It's, that's that's you. That's your your negative self talk and your positive self talk. And you got the real power to make your own, your own decision. Cause a lot of times people do stuff like that. And say, oh, it was the devil talking to yeah, me. It was yeah. the no, that's, that's, that's you. You got to take ownership. Yeah, and yeah, I think issue. that's my problem is I know like what I need to do and I know how to do it and I think I choose not to because I'm scared of having to fail again or going through, excuse me, an even rougher time to get to where I need to be. But I know what I need to do. I know who I need to let go. I need, I know, I, need, I just know. And that's what bothers me is because I really know what could help me and I'm choosing not to and that's a battle that I fight with every day because it's either you can you can choose if you really want to you can do it you, there's no reason you should still if you really don't want to be on drugs you don't have to you, you don't if you want to get out of this you can you, it's it's not that hard you if you really put your mind to it you can it's just the willpower of sticking to it but I don't 
I don't know, a part of me feels like I'm weak, but then that's like that's an excuse. Like you're not weak, you just choose not to do it. So right. I don't know. Alright, so where are we gonna go from here? Uh I think um I'm gonna have to try yeah. rehab, but I don't wanna leave my kids. No, I'm not talking about long term. Sorry. But, oh, oh, you okay? Um, I'm not talking about long term. I'm, we gotta focus on what we're gonna do in the next 24 hours. Like, sometimes when you set goals too big and too far away, yeah, you, you don't reach them. You got sometimes you gotta make short term goals that eventually that eventually lead to a long term goal. You say you lost everything, so I'm trying to figure out where your next meal coming from. Where you gonna sleep tonight? Uh, I ain't thinking about rehab right now. I'm trying to think about where you gonna be at in the next 24 hours. Uh, Honestly, man, everything happened so fast. Uh, I, I, excuse me, but I, I pray. That's number one. Um, but God, God can do so much, but you have to do your part too. You know, you can't just leave, put it on Him and be like, "Hey, make this happen," and you know, do do this because you're great. It's like, no, He's gonna help you, and He's gonna be there for you. But you need to do your part. And I think my part for right now is to be able to get my ID back, get my Social Security card back. Even if I have to hold my sign or whatever, just something just to get me through. I, I mean, uh, short-term goals are probably better than long-term goals just get me what? too far ahead of myself. Okay. So how do you know? He's, he's all right. He's, you say you're mad at you about that situation? It, yeah, because he's like... Let me ask you something. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nosy. So four months ago, you said you only slept with one person that was your husband. How many, how many people has it been now? deal with like the same about four about four people about four people yeah oh man i mean i know women who don't sell except who slept more than four people so they ain't yeah. you know i try not to try, to, try not to make it five yeah. um you know what i mean but I, it's easy for me to say and hard, i know it's hard for you to support yourself and all that but yeah. uh i gotta give out some good advice yeah try not to make it five and try your best to, to make it five years from now because okay. the way you're going i don't know if you'll be here but uh, I'm going to pray for you. I'm pretty sure my, my um, the people that watch my channel are going to pray for you as well. Because you're you. still young. You're even 26 years old. I want you, I want you to get it, get it together. God bless you. I got something for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs>